If you're investing in a machine where the table is six meters in length, it's a pretty sizable investment. Well, we've traveled up to Bendel's Engineering to find out why they have just purchased the Correa Fox 60. Wow, Mark, what a machine. It's so impressive. Let's talk about that in just a moment because I want to know more about you and what you're doing here at Bendel's Engineering. So, what is it that Bendel's do for starters? Um, we manufacture large scale um, fabrications um, for predominantly the nuclear and oil and gas markets. Um, and they can range from anything the size of something that fits in the palm of your hand to something up to 200 tonnes in weight. Oh, wow. Um, which, is, which is a fair size. Um, <laughs> Hence the reason why you needed the machine. Exactly, yes, that's the reason why. So what's your job role here then? Um, I'm the production manager here at Bendel's. Um, so I'm responsible for all manufacturing on site and liaising with the project management team um, to ensure that we get the, the projects delivered on time to the, the clients. And this is obviously part of that. So let's talk about the purchasing of the Correa Fox. Um, what was the reason you needed this machine? Um, the reason, we, we have a machine shop on site at the moment, at present, um, which is predominantly for smaller machining items. So during the process of um, tendering for packages of work with potential clients and actually manufacturing packages of work for, for our current clients, there more often than not is a need for machining. Um, and, and some of the fabrications that we manufacture, as I said, up to 200 tonnes in weight, um, some of the items that require machining can be very, very big. So because we didn't have that capability in-house, um, we were having more often than not subcontract these elements out into the supply chain. OK, so there obviously must have been a problem there for you when you're subcontracting out. I'm not saying massively, but what was the reason you then wanted to bring it in-house? The sub subcontracting any element of work out within a, within a contract is always can present a challenge, purely because um, if, if the subcontractor um, lets you down for whatever reason, um, or there's some technical challenges, the, that obviously comes back onto us um, as, the, as, the, as the contractor. Mm. So, you know, having all that capability in-house gives us greater control over all the key elements of the contract. Why the Correa machine? Why, you know, obviously you would have chosen and looked at the competition. So what, tell me about the first meeting that you had when you were talking about this. We, we looked at several machines, to be fair, um, but really what stood out about the, the Correa, and in particular the Fox, um, was the size, the sheer scale of the machine, the capability of the machine. Um, and, and really that, that really set it apart from the rest of the competition quite early on, even mm -hmm. at the initial inquiry stage. Oh, really? um, so, and really it grew from there to looking at models within the country that we could go and physically see. Um, which was really good, so we could actually put eyes on, on a machine in the country that was doing similar types of work to what we would require it to do. Ah, OK, and that's all with DTS, isn't that it? That was all with DTS support, yeah. And so what, what was the next stage? What happened? Once you'd gone and seen other companies out there and you kind of gained that confidence, what happened next? We, very fortunate, we're, we're, we're lar uh, part of a large PLC, which is, is owned by Cars Group PLC, so it, it showed tremendous backing for us as a business. Um, for, for cars to back us and obviously allow us to, to, to purchase the, the machine. But it wasn't this machine that you were originally looking at, was it? No, we originally <laughs> looked at... It, it was the machine, but it wasn't necessarily the dimensions. OK. So we originally were looking at a machine that was slightly smaller. Yeah. Uh, more comparable to the one that we actually went and looked at at uh, another manufacturer in the country. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, it was quite ironic because we had a number of tenders at the time which were just slightly bigger than what we were specking the machine for. Wow. So it was all timing. So we then made the decision to go slightly bigger um, and give us that larger table size, cross travel. Um, so you obviously uh, don't regret that decision? No, definitely not. <laughs> um, but what will happen in the future is we'll get another inquiry that will probably be slightly <laughs> exactly. bigger. Well, um, that's going to happen, obviously. It's always going to happen, yeah. So yeah. going forward, what are you going to be working on on this machine? And what, what's it going to do? Not just from solving the problems from before, but helping you in your business. I mean, the, the, having something of this sheer scale in the business, um, it, it, it kind of sells itself from mm. the respect of it. It's an imposing piece of kit. Yeah. Um, and really, you know, we're not always going to have large items on it, um, but we do have 
a number of items there that are of, of good size um, that will be able to get through the machine. And again, it's, it's early stages. The machine is just commissioned at the end of October. So we're, we're, we're up and running, but we're still finding our feet with DTSC support on that as well with, with, with some of the more complex before we talk about the items. installation of mm -hmm. the machine, I also want to know another reason why you purchased this, because you did look at other brands and they didn't give you quite that, in your words, value for money. So what is it yeah. that DTS and Acorea do for you? I mean, but buying, buying any machine of any size, um, it's, it's a large purchase. Um, and, and really, you want to get the most for your money that's going to tick all the boxes capability-wise. And really what stood out for the on the Corea in particular uh, brand was the, the warranty that you get with the item that you purchase. Some of the other brands were only given you a year, um, whereas Corea straight away five year warranty. Wow. Um, which and they're is local. phenomenal support. They're local to you as well, aren't they? UK based, they're local. Um, you know, we've got the connection with them now, they're, they're here as soon as you need them. If you've got an issue, they're here to support, which is really all part of the, the purchase. Yeah, You, you want course. that in the after side as well, so, yeah. And just to finish, the installation, how was it? You know, realistically, if people are considering a machine of this size, how easy is it to get into a facility of your size? I mean, our facility is quite large. Um, the shop that it's situated in, is, it's a good size, but things like door openings, Mm. Um, we obviously had COVID to contend with yeah. as well, uh, which was right in the middle. We were right in the middle of COVID. So getting all the items over from Spain um, was a challenge, but to be fair, everything went pretty well. There wasn't really any showstoppers that really caused us too much of a delay. Mm. The, I think the biggest challenge was um, was getting everything over from Spain. <laughs> really? But really, <laughs> that, that went Once well. Here, absolutely fine. Yeah, the, the, you know, from the civils. Um, to getting the foundations put in. And, and DTS uh, arranged all of that with yourselves Yeah, as we well. liaised with them and, and used the contractors and it all went pretty well, to be fair. And okay. the, only, the only real concern was COVID. Well, and really, we managed to get through that and get yeah. everything here on time, so which was Brilliant. good. So just to finalise, would you recommend this to other people and why? And what's it going to do for your company? Um, firstly, yeah, I would recommend the machine, definitely. Um, for us as a company, it gives us so much more capability that, that we didn't have before, simple as that. We didn't have it, uh, we now have it. Um, and moving forward, we can branch into other areas of, of um, potential scopes of packages or what, which um, I'm sure further down the line, the machine will be used to its true potential, I think. So, thank you. Yeah.